Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Good Friday. Renee here. I am walking into the church office, and that fills me with an excitement I have never known <laughs> because it means I'm here. You may not know it, but I and 13 other people who were part of our TLC tour group to Israel have just kind of been through the ringer. We were in a, an unwanted, unanticipated COVID quarantine lockdown on the other side of the world in Jerusalem. We tested positive for COVID. Thank God. Nobody had very severe symptoms. Personally, I was asymptomatic, yet we were required to be locked down, alone, isolated in our hotel rooms for a week. But thank God we are here. And that means I get to be a part of the Good Friday and Easter services this weekend. I hope you are there too. I want to see you there. Starting tonight with Good Friday, then Saturday and Sunday morning with Easter services. You know, as I was in that COVID quarantine lockdown, it occurred to me that the original disciples were also in lockdown in a matter of speaking from Good Friday to Easter. Why? Because they had seen their Lord and Savior die on the cross. The worst possible tragedy they could imagine. But then something exciting happens. In John chapter 20, verse 19, it says, When the disciples were together, in a room with the doors locked for fear of the religious leaders. Suddenly, Jesus stood among them and said to them, peace be with you. And I thought to myself at the time, the disciples really didn't understand all the theological ramifications of what he had done for them on the cross and then what, what it meant that he was resurrected, but they knew this, Jesus was with them. They were no longer alone. And you know, that same promise holds true for you. Maybe you feel like you're also emotionally in a locked room. The, the COVID quarantine lockdown situation of 2020 has turned into kind of a, an emotional, psychological lockdown for you or for somebody you know. But to you, the risen Jesus appears and he says, you're not alone. I sensed his presence in that locked room in Jerusalem. And I know the risen Jesus is here for you too. And it all starts tonight with Good Friday. You know, that's really the arc of the Christian life, isn't it? From Good Friday to Easter, we experience our, our crosses, our locked rooms, and then we experience the resurrection and redemption that the living Jesus Christ can bring us. People all around you need that hope. So I hope you bring your friends and your family this weekend. Now, I've been wandering through the office because I'm so excited to be here. And right now I have found myself at what I call the command center of everything that goes on at Twin Lakes Church. You can see stage maps and lists of things coming up. And the person who oversees all of this stuff and makes sure that we all stay on point is the person sitting at the desk right there. And that's Valerie. Web. Valerie, you know all the details about what's going on this weekend. What are the service times and what can people anticipate? All right. We start tonight with Good Friday. That service begins at 6.30 p.m. It will also be live streamed at tlc.org slash live and all our normal channels. And there's going to be beautiful music, scripture readings. It really gives you that opportunity to pause, reflect, communion as well. And then Easter services kick off on Saturday at 6 p.m., three on Sunday, 8.30, 10, and 11.30 a.m. And on Easter weekend, we have amazing things at every service. We've got great food boxes for you, full of yummy treats that you will enjoy. We have amazing programs for kids, including on the Good Friday service. We have jump houses for the kids, giant slides for everybody. We have, let's see, oh, photo booths. And I cannot wait to see you, and we're going to celebrate together. Awesome. Hope to see you here this weekend. Listen, I went through a lot to get here, and so I hope you come here too so I can see you in person. God bless you.